Good morning and welcome back. Seattle's Pacific Science Center is gearing up for their summer camp series. Yeah, they are specifically designed to get kids excited about science, which is awesome, and make a little make life just a little easier for parents. Yes. <laughs> uh, we have some fun examples right in front of us, and we're about to see exactly how they work. And helping us out with that is camp educator Kiefer Dundas to share the experiment and tell us a little bit more about the options with camp. Thank you so much for doing this. I'm glad to be here. We Thanks saw you wheeling that in and we got a little scared. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's a little bit of a scary machine, but we're going to have some fun with it today. Start, start by talking a little about the camp and all the different kinds of things that you guys target with that. Yeah, we have about 70 different camps uh, through a bunch of different locations all around the Puget Sound from North Seattle to Kirkland to Bellevue and then right at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle. And uh, we have camps from preschool all the way through eighth grade, uh, themes with chemistry, uh, physics, math, even a Harry Potter themed camp. Yes. Science into it. It's a lot Travis of fun. Travis is going to show up to I, that. I might Perfect. register my daughter just to go. So totally. who, who should go to these? I mean, it's probably not just somebody who might love science. Maybe it's somebody who has no idea totally. about science. Totally. Yeah, we have our camps are used to promote, to inspire kids to do what they like to do. And we have camps, uh, science based camps that are really physics based, but we also have some art based ones. Uh, basically, there's something for everybody. We even have road trip camps where they might go play sports in different areas. They know we have this new thing we're doing this year where we're doing this Arctic canoe where like 15 people fit in a canoe and then go canoeing on Lake Union, which will be really fun. And what have you brought in for us today and how does this relate as <laughs> totally. an example for what we do <laughs> yeah, with the camps? Totally. So this is uh, something that I use to demonstrate physics because physics is how the world moves around you. And uh, specifically, this uh, deals with electricity. Uh, so have you guys ever maybe walked across the carpet in your house and you, uh, you touched a doorknob or something and it kind of shocked you? You got a little oh, bit yeah. of a static yes, shock? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> so static electricity is when you do that rubbing motion and it kind of fills your body with these extra electrons. And those electrons don't like to be next to each other. And so just like kind of how a cloud might, uh, will rub together and create electrons, create the static electricity, uh, and then those electrons have to get somewhere. They have to go somewhere. So if you can imagine this ball is gaining static electricity. I'm stepping away from it. And now imagine my, this wand is giving the electrons a place to go. You guys see that? Ooh, it's like lightning. Yeah, yeah it's, this, that's what exactly what it is. These are little tiny lightning bolts. And this is exactly how real lightning works. That's so awesome. we can do a few more things with this. Yeah, let's this do is it. Really cool. Let's do it. So I have a little tray of some packing peanuts here. These are just little foam packing peanuts that you get if you ever uh, get anything in the mail. Uh, so what's going to happen is the electrons are going to go into those packing peanuts, and then those electrons don't like to be next to each other, which means then the packing peanuts won't want to be next to each other. So let's see what happens when I turn it on. Uh, All, right. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to let Did my wand go. we have a waiver? Right. Should... Oh! Oh, cool! <laughs> nice! Look at that. Like popcorn. Yeah. It's like popcorn, exactly. All right. And you have one final experiment. I have one more experiment I want to show you guys. So, Casey, if you would like to step up on my yellow stool oh, there. I'm glad you're the volunteer, Casey. All right. <laughs> Thanks for showing us the lightning first <laughs> and then having me stand next to it. Of okay. All right, go ahead and put one hand right here you on the machine, right? Just like that. You'll be fine. You'll be totally fine. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to turn on the machine. Okay. But you'll be totally fine because the machine's off right now, so the electrons are going to flow into you slowly. And they're not going oh, to have anywhere to go. Oh, yeah, go. that's no big deal. It's fine. Slow lightning is better. Exactly. Okay, go ahead. They're not, going to go, they're not going to go anywhere because you're standing on this rubber stool that's oh. insulating you from the ground. Oh. Uh, but those electrons are still going to want to get away from each other, so it's hopefully going to make your hair stand straight up. Which is what I've always wanted. Exactly. More so volume, let's see. finally. All right, are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. All right, so it takes a little Ooh, bit of time. Oh, I feel something. Ooh, it helps if you shake your head a little bit. It gets some, gets some of those hairs standing up. Oh, do you see that? Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Is you feel the, some tingling in your arms, I too, do. Maybe? My arms feel furry. If you Ooh. wiggle your fingers a little bit, you might hear some noises happening in there. It's kind of Are weird. Are you serious? Yeah, it's kind of weird. That's from the machine? It is. Oh, oh! <laughs> And if you want to be really mean to someone, you can touch someone and give them a little bit of shock right now, but it might hurt a little. No, I don't want to do that. So this is how I should anchor the show. Exactly. Oh, it's actually That's starting to tingle fun. quite a bit. I can feel it from here. Can you really? Like the hairs on my hands yeah. are actually sticking up. All well, right. Let's, uh, let's tell people how they can get their kids to look like this, too. <laughs> Take a look. Definitely. Here's the schedule for those eight locations we've been talking about. Not all of them run for the entire summer, so you can do them in bits and pieces at different locations. And we have more information on the website for Pacific Science Center. It's PACSci.org, and you can go to slash summer dash camps. Kiefer, thank you so much. Of course. Thank Travis, you, you sure you don't want to hop um, on up? And... No, I think I'm good. I'm good with the look on you and not on me. Thank you. But the summer camps sound awesome. They are, they are super awesome. Thanks for being here. Thank, of course. You, so thank much. you so much. All right, back to you guys.